um, the Nazareth Sisters, as we call, uh, came out to Cape Town in 1881 to take over an orphanage down in the city. Well, I think it's very much a calling. You know, our, I'm a religious sister, so um, it's, it's kind of, we call it a vocation. We do become very emotionally attached to the children. You know, we love them. We, we, you can't hold back from the children. They feel it if you put a barrier up. During those early years, we, we lost over 90 children. I, you know, the youngest was 17 days, the oldest was 14 years. And that was a very tough time up until 2003. There's a huge gap when there's suddenly an empty cot or, you know, the place beside them is empty. In 1991, um, we were asked to take uh, a baby with HIV. We had a vacancy, we had a spare cot, and so we thought, well, this is a baby that needs to come in, you know, whether he's HIV positive or not. It's, you know, it's, it's the fact is this baby needs care, he needs to come to us. When the social worker asked us to take this little one, he gave me all the whole lot of medical problems that this child had. And then at the last minute, he mentioned that he also was testing HIV positive. And when he brought the baby in, I said, why did you only leave that till the last minute? And he said, you know, it was late Friday afternoon. This baby, they had to get this baby out of the hospital because he was keeping a bed for other babies. And um, he said, I, I've just been trying the whole week for foster families, other children's homes, places of safety, anywhere. And he said, every time I mentioned HIV, it was a problem. They, you know, they, they wouldn't, or they couldn't, felt they couldn't cope, they couldn't handle that. Well, altogether, um, within the four cottages, um, we've got, we, we have up to 45. We've got uh, 10 babies and 10 toddlers, you could say. So the youngest is, is three weeks old. And the oldest one is in our disabled cottage, and she's just turned 18. Of course, the medication, very important. Every morning, 7 o'clock, and every evening, 7 o'clock. They, they get seen to at the ARV clinic. Our little ones normally go to Somerset Hospital, and the, as I say, the older ones are already under Grutiscure now. I think my main message to, on World AIDS Day would be to those who are infected, especially the young people, you know, don't, don't catch on that stigma that other people are giving you. You know, go and get tested. Get, get yourself tested and don't be afraid. Go back for the results and then deal with your life because they, you know, it's, it's so important.